So hi guys, this is Phoenix Gaming here and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial about how to connect your PlayStation 3 controller, uh, 6-axis or DualShock 3, it doesn't matter. So uh, what you will need is to um, is a USB to mini USB cable, um, a PlayStation 3 controller of course, and a program that is called Controller Mate. Don't worry, um, I will show you how to get that later on the video. So the first thing you will need to do is to plug in your um, mini USB cable into your PlayStation 3 controller. After you did this, you will need to click on the PlayStation button one time until the hope you can see it the four buttons here um, starts to glow uh, red, like you see. So afterwards, you click on your screen um, on the Bluetooth. Turn the Bluetooth on. Now plug your PlayStation controller out of the mini USB cable, and you will see on your screen that it's it's connected to the PlayStation 3 controller. So, so the next thing you will need to do is to install Controller Mate. Um, so how to do this? Um, you go on their site. It's in the description bar below. So click on it. Then you will be on this page. Click on Controller Mate here and download it. So after you uh, installed Controller Mate, it will ask you um, for a serial key. The serial key um, is now appearing on your screen right now. So use it if you don't want to pay uh, 15 bucks or something like that. So now, uh, when you installed Controller Mate successfully, you go, um, you open it. You will see the screen. Well, I think you will see the screen. So now uh, you go to Virtual Controllers. You go here, and you create a new virtual mouse. You you can name it um, whatever you want. So basically, I'm going to call it Tutorial. You leave the number of buttons to two. You click on Update Controller. So after you you've done that. Um, you go to programming. Now I've already made um, my programming of my um, PlayStation 3 controller, but um, you will need to create a new page and check this for to start. So now you go to your palette window. If you don't have it, go to window, palette window, controllers, whatever. So to controllers, right? So, if you scroll down here, you will see PlayStation controller, right here. So, if you move your joystick, you will see that it will glow blue. So, you click on this, and now you can see which button you press on your PlayStation 3 um, controller. So, now, what you will need to do, is to calibrate your um, analog sticks. So how do you do this? First, you go to your Z axis. You put it right here, and your R Z rotation. So right here. Now, you go back to your uh, palettes and you go to calculations. You click uh, on the second option, so axis calibration. You put it right here, and another one right here. So now you click on um, the axis calibration building block on, um, underneath the Z axis. You open your inspector window. How to do this is to go to window, inspector window, new inspector. So now that you have your inspector window, you can go and calibrate your uh, analog sticks. So you click on this, then you go to your inspector window, and you set the limits to um, 5 and maximum to 244. Your output range should be minus 2 to 2. Your center value and deadband, you should leave it, uh, leave it like this. Uh, make sure you calibrate it both axes the Z-axis and the RZ rotation with the same um, 
the same input range and output range. Um, and then um, you can try your new mouse out. So go to your page, you check this, and you try to move with your PlayStation 3 controller. So you see, um, it's not very sensitive, but you can uh, adjust that if you want to uh, the output range. So now I'm going to show you how to um, bind um, the other keys on the controller um, with controller mate. So the first thing you need to do for this, you go to your palette window, uh, controllers, and you go to PlayStation Control, um, and you click on um, a button uh, on your controller that you want to bind to another uh, button uh, on your keyboard or your mouse. So I'm going to test it with the X button. So you click on it, and you see here that the um, button 15 is uh, the X button. So you click button 15 and you drag it in your programming window. Then you go to outputs and you click on single key. So after you've done this, uh, you go back to your inspector window. And here it says drop a key from the keystrokes palette here. So click on keystrokes palette. And here you can see your keyboard. Uh, your keyboard. Uh, um, and now you drag a key that you want to um, use for the X button. So I'm going to um, put the space bar in it. So you can use X, the X button to jump um, in games like Minecraft or first person shooters. So right guys, uh, now I will show you how to um, bind your trigger buttons to your mouse buttons. So uh, you will do uh, exactly like you did with the spacebar on the X button, but now with the L1 button. So go to controllers, um, PlayStation controller 1, then um, click on your um, PS3 controller on the L1 button, it will show button 11. Um, you drag and drop it in your programming window. Then you go to outputs and you click on mouse button. So after you did this, you go to inspector window. When turned on, you do button down, you select this. Then when turned off, you do button up with mouse button, right button. So after you did this, um, you can do this with your R1 button as well. So go back to your controller. PlayStation 1 controller, no. click on it, then select R1, it will show button number 12. You drag and drop it again, go back to outputs, um, mouse button, drag and drop it, go back to your inspector window, do uh, button down, button up, and now left button. Keep it like this. So, thank you guys for watching my first episode of Crack Mac Tutorials. Uh, make sure to check out my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Rate and favorite this video, please. And uh, tell all your friends if they have a Mac. In the second episode, I will talk about uh, making fi uh, fake viruses on Mac. So, um, stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys.